Well, hi, I'm Jason Aso, an Applications Engineer with Analog Devices Digital Isolation Group. I support our isolated SPI, isolated I2C, and isolated CAN products, as well as our I2C bus buffers. So in my demo, I'm showing two new products from analog devices. The first is an isolated CAN FD transceiver. The second is a new product in our family of bus buffers. So the model elevator is demonstrating communication over a CAN FD bus between the control panel and the motor, and then back to the control panel again. So the LTC4331 is used to communicate with remote slaves. So in the elevator example that we have here, it's communicating with two LT3964 devices that are controlling the RGBW, perhaps an example of architectural lighting. We also have a second example of a remote I2C slave device built into the model. It's an ADXL355, which you can see vibrations of the elevator as it moves up and down. So the ADM3055E is a 12 megabits per second isolated CAN-FD solution. It takes isolated power, isolated signal, and the CAN-FD transceiver and the ESD protection, puts them all into one package. The LTC4331 allows the user to extend the I2C bus over a rugged differential link. For more information, go to analog.com slash ADM3055E and analog.com slash LTC4331.